Welcome back to River City Live. All right, so it's New Year resolution time, and we're only a couple days into the new year, and statistically, a lot of people have already dropped away from their plans. <laughs> yep. Dr. Tracy Alloway is back to help us out, really just to keep us on the right track to keeping our resolutions. That's right. Usually, we find that only 8% of people actually keep their New Year's resolution. Wow, 8%. that low, huh? Wow. We start with good intentions. Right, exactly. We do. Yeah, we sure do. Yeah. And we're only a couple days into the new year, so where are we at percentage-wise? How many people are, are dropping away? I don't know. That's I'm crazy. guessing 98% have fallen. <laughs> uh, can you walk us through some steps here? How, how can we maybe get the odds up a little bit? And I think the first thing that we can do is just pick one. Usually we, we start so enthusiastically that we want to say, well, these are the five or 10 things that I want to change for New Year. And it's too overwhelming for us. So my recommendation is that we just pick the top one thing that we really want to see change in our year. How do you pick that one thing though? Do you know what I mean? You have to do some soul searching on like, hey, what do I really need to improve on? That's what Christmas was for. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Like, is it something, would you ask peers and family? Like, hey, well, what do you think? What or do you is think that, I or are you do? opening yourself up? <laughs> no, you can't do that. You have to do this so on your if own. If we were to pick one I'm for eating, like, what would we do? No, no. <laughs> so between getting organized and, no, I'm just kidding. So, okay, so we've got that. Yeah, and so I think it's really it like what you're saying. It's something that you have to ask yourself. What do I want to see different this year compared to last year? Okay. Now, let's say you accomplish that in the first three days. I mean, can we? No. <laughs> but can you uh, adjust your expectations or as a, your, your resolutions throughout the year? Definitely, and I think that's where a roadmap comes in. Okay. When you roadmap it, you'll know. I'm, you know, day three of the new year. Maybe you haven't done any, pro made any progress towards that resolution. So get up and start making a plan, write down actual steps. How are you going to accomplish this resolution? I'm a big fan of that because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. fail. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And then I invented that, you know. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> it's my resolution to come up with something clever like that. Oh, nice. Another thing I'm that, gone for mine. Well, but you are so clever because Dr. Alloway always provides us with some what we call talking points, and they're always intriguing, like this one, number three, flip-flops or tennis shoes. Yes, Ooh. and it's just breaking it down to one very simple decision every day. So again, it's back to not feeling overwhelmed. So let's say your New Year's resolution is to be more healthy or to run a race. You could be thinking, yeah, I don't feel good today. It's not very sunny out. There's a little bit of rain. I don't want to slip out there. And it's all of those decisions that feel overwhelming. So when you, you know, put your feet on the floor, when you get out of bed, just solve one, just, you know, make one like decision. That. Yeah, you're breaking it down. Exactly. Are you going to wear tennis shoes? Which just means you're more likely to actually exercise or flip-flops, which means you're less likely. And it's as simple as that. You know, with the new year coming up, it really is a time for new beginnings. How do you get your kids involved? Because it's a great opportunity to maybe have them change directions. Yes. And again, I think it's a process that you can encourage them to do to have their own independence and autonomy ask them what did you like about last year what was good what would you like to do differently critically you know have them critically evaluate instead of kind of being that helicopter parent and coming in and saying well i think you should do yeah, this honey. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's a good exercise upon? for them to have. <laughs> right, yeah. And then throughout the uh, the month, you can kind of remind them, say, remember, you said you wanted to keep your room clean. I'm just trying to help you keep your New Year's <laughs> resolution. It's back to road mapping it, too. And maybe it's one thing. So maybe it's every day they put their socks away. Uh -huh. Or, you know, they put their shoes by the door. Something really simple like that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So road mapping and keeping it simple. Mm -hmm. Just one thing to work on so they're not overwhelmed. And that's what we're applying to ourselves. Same exact logic. Exactly. It makes a lot of sense. I like the simple life. I like that a lot. And especially, like you said, applying to kids because you don't want to blow their mind and right off the year. And also, don't make New Year's resolutions for your spouse, correct? Like, that's a bad, <laughs> that's a bad idea, correct? It's definitely not a good idea. <laughs> you, could, you could suggest things, maybe, right? No. I don't know. Like, oh. I'm out on this one. <laughs> this is going to be a follow-up segment. What do you do, Dr. Holloway, if you suggested something to your spouse and it didn't quite work out, right? You could write their roadmap for them there and slip go. it under their pillow. Oh <laughs> no, don't do that. We always have great conversation when we're joined by Dr. Tracy Holloway. Would you like to find out how to reach out to her? It's all on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. Just click on the As Seen on RCL tab right there on the upper corner. Stick around. More to come. Coming up on 